there is this ai tool that can create this kind of high quality landing page designs in literally just few seconds the only problem is this is a paid tool and i kind of figured out a way to use this tool absolutely for free so using my technique i used this tool for free and then created this like high quality ui design for mobile applications and also this kind of really nice custom components something like this component and something like this in fact i just used its free trial and created this really nice looking high quality landing page as well the name of this tool is dot build and yeah this video is not sponsored by this tool i am just sharing it because it was super helpful for me to create like high quality ui elements ui components that does not look ai generated and this tool costs 20 dollars per month and i know most of you won't like to pay this much money so that's why i'm just going to share a free method to use this tool and make maximum use of this tool now the feature that we're going to use for this tool is called prompt builder if you just go to this aura dot build just sign up and now you can just go to this prompt builder so simply just go there and now you can see there is a very unique method in here to create a detailed prompt for whatever you're going to build and what you can do you can simply just like choose either you want to create a mobile app or maybe a web app so let's suppose in our case we're just going to create a web app and here i can choose the layout type maybe it's a hero section or maybe a feature section onboarding section docs section update section portfolio section whatever section you are going to create you can just like choose your layout type in here so maybe in this case let's just create a hero section and then layout configuration do you want to create this layout in a card style something like this or maybe in a list style you want to like list different elements and different features or maybe in a square style something like this maybe in a table style maybe this kind of left sidebar or this kind of right sidebar so you can choose your own style so maybe in my case i'm just going to use it in a card style and the next step is framing in here you can just like choose a full screen or maybe card style so maybe let's just go with full screen and there are other options like browser mac app and then also clay web so what we are going to do we are going to just use the full screen style and the next thing is style so you can either choose flat or outline minimalist or something like glass or ios or material so what we can do we can just maybe use something like glass or minimalist something like this or maybe outline style or maybe a flat style something like this let's just go with glass style so you can see whenever i am choosing any of these options in here so it is actually creating adding these elements inside this prompt and at the end you'll see it will create a detailed prompt based on my selection so this is more visual you won't have to write anything you won't have to type anything you will just choose what you see and then based on your selection then it will create a detailed prompt and then we'll use that prompt to generate our design and next is the theme you can either choose the light mode or dark mode so if you just choose light mode you can see in real time it is updating so this here is just a demo of what over overall your interface will look like so dark mode and light mode so let's just go with dark mode and here your accent color you can choose any of these colors maybe white maybe blue indigo violent and purple or maybe this particular color so let's just go with something like this maybe or maybe let's just simply go with white but whatever you're going to choose next thing is background style you can choose maybe transparent background or neutral gray or this kind of like slate or zinc or this kind of stone so i think this kind of stone kind of thing is this kind of design is very popular these days and then there are border colors so you can just like choose this so there is very like detailed selection that you can choose well I'll just like go ahead and randomly just choose any of these random options from here and next the heading font even you can just like choose all of these different kind of font styles and you can choose what exactly your final interface will look like so i'll just randomly choose all of these different options there are these different kind of animation styles as well i will choose maybe this 3d or this particular one i think let's just go with 3d and now see it is going to be all at once or this kind of sequence or word by word or letter by letter something like this so i think let's just go with all at once then duration and timing and then there is iterations direction so now you can see a very customized element is ready what i can do now i can add more details as well i can change text names and brands use like these lucid icons as well make it responsive adopt to dark mode create the hero section change text and like all of these options now i can just like choose all of these different options from here once i have selected 
my design and everything now what i can do i can simply just click on this add to prompt now as soon as you click on that now you can see it will create a very customized prompt for you create a hero layout layout configuration is card centered so it has like created a very detailed layout configuration so what you can do you can just now copy this prompt and now you can just take it to your favorite ide your favorite ai code editor if you're not used to of using ides like cursor windsurf or like vs code or something like line or kilo code if you're not used to of those kind of ids you can just like use it and maybe use it in bold and lovable as well but i highly 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 recommend you using a local ide something like this right now you can see i am using augment code you can use kilo code you can use client whatever sort of ai coding agent you are going to use it doesn't matter because you have now very detailed guideline for your ai code editor so in my case i'm using this augment code so now what i'll do you can see i'll just start a new chat what i'll do i'll just paste that prompt in here so this is the prompt now i'll ask it to create a new page slash hero and create a hero so what it will do it will just create a new page on my on in, inside this project right now i'm inside this next year's project so all of these components that i showed you in the beginning all these components i created in, in this same project on these different pages you can see all of these are created this for this is on home page this one is on slash coffee page and this one is on slash onboarding page so i'm going to ask you to create a new page slash hero and then create this so I'll just then press enter. Similarly, as I mentioned earlier, that you can use Klein or Kilo Code or Roo Code or whatever your favorite AI agent is. Use any of those. In my case, I like Augment Code, so I'm just going to use Augment Code. And now, what it will do? It will just create a new route, new page slash hero, and then it will create the exact hero section as I have explained, as I like explained in that prompt. So, because this is going to be very precise detail, it has mentioned that okay, this will be the framing will be full screen. Also apply a glass visual style use a dark mode colors accent color is this particular one tailwind 500 background color is this particular one tailwind 900 border color zinc so it has precisely mentioned every single detail that you cannot just mention in a simple prompt so this is the difference between a normal prompt whenever you want to create maybe a landing page or any sort of like ui component you cannot give this kind of like precise details so here we have already mentioned every single detail we have mentioned about like what sort of font you are going to use what will be the heading size what will be the subheading size every single thing we have already mentioned what will the font style what will be the font size everything we have mentioned also about animations and everything so all of these details are already mentioned inside this prompt so now this is a very detailed prompt your ai coding agent now knows basically what sort of design it is going to create so this way it will not hallucinate it will create precisely what you have asked it to do so you can just like use this prompt builder functionality from here and then create some something like really high quality really nice right here using your local ai coding agent by the by the time it is creating this what i'll do i'll simply just go to maybe something like lovable so you know that you can use like five daily prompts i think on lovable so you can just like use it for free and then you can just like enter your prompt in here and that's it and now let's just see what lovable will create using it so let's just wait for it this technique is super helpful for you if you're building something locally on your computer some like very complex project and now you just want to create a separate new ui element or separate component or maybe a new landing page you don't want to like create anything separate because whatever lovable will create that will be a separate project so now you have to integrate that and import that code inside your project and that might have some like dependencies conflicts and some other issues issues so this way you can just like have a detailed prompt so rather than creating something separately and then importing that in your existing project that will cause of course issues so this way using this technique what you can do you can easily just like give your prompt your ai coding agent and then it will create something right inside your project so what i'm really interested in right now is to see the difference of results between what lovable will create and the difference of result what will create with our local ai agent because locally you can see we are using gpt 5.1 so here you can see inside augment code we are using gpt 5.1 i'm not sure if lovable is using gpt 5.1 as well but this is what lovable has created this is like based on our prompt 
this is what lovable has just created and it looks very nice it doesn't look AI generated at all it looks very customized this design has a certain personality in it so now you can just like create further components based on this particular design now if you if you just want to like create a features component so you can it will just reuse all of these elements and then create a new component based on this hero component so let's just wait for our local ai coding agent and see what it has created i think it is done now and now i can just like uh, open uh, my project is already running on localhost i'll just open slash hero and see what it will create so let me just open slash hero press enter and there is an error okay let me just copy this error from here let me just easily paste that error inside augment code and let augment code fix this error by itself i'm not going to bother fixing any of the errors so let's just wait for augment code to fix this error okay we need okay all right so it's just like this are dependency issue so i need to just install this dependency so what i can do i can just like run this command inside my terminal in here inside powershell and press enter and now just import install this dependency of lucid uh, react and now i can just npm run dev again npm run dev press enter let's just run our project again i'll just open maybe this particular okay perfect there you go our hero is open in here and this is the design that it has created so this is the design from the same prompt that lovable created and from that same prompt this is the design that gpt 5.1 created i kind of like this design more than this particular design i mean it depends on what sort of project you're going to build but you can see the difference we gave exact same prompt a very precise prompt and now both of these ai coding agents created completely different kind of design you can see the basic design elements are similar i really like this gradient in here on the background i really like the the font the font style the font size and the subheading style and this particular element as well in here so i really like all these details that gpt 5.1 has added so yeah i mean this is very minimalistic maybe not very minimalistic but still it is it is good enough and now what we can do we can just like now capitalize on this design and i can ask my local ai coding agent to now please create a feature section now please create a features section on slash hero page so i'm not going to give any further details that what should be in that feature section it will just like figure out itself and also it is going to reuse the existing components the existing design of our hero section and then it will just like create a, a feature section after that but it looks really professional it looks really like well made it doesn't look ai generated at all it has a certain sort of vibe that a general like ai generated design will never have so apparently it has just added a feature section Section. so let me just quickly run my project again and there you go it has just added that layout features and it kind of reused all of these components from here and then created this feature section further now you can just carry on building the further sections on your landing page but yeah this is how you can actually build your high quality custom not ai looking landing pages so this is i think the best approach if you can afford you can just like use this tool again this video is not sponsored by this tool at all there is this uh, template section as well in here if you just click on this adopt from template inside this uh, prompt builder and you can see there are these different templates that it has already created so you can just choose any of these templates the problem is most of these are pro which are like paid behind a paywall so you cannot use that but some of these are actually for free as well like this particular one if you just like go with this one so if you just want to like create something like this so you can just like choose this particular template you can just like add it to prompt and now this is a customized prompt from that template and it will just create exact same thing for you in your project in fact in all of these templates if you just like open any of these landing pages and if you like any of these landing pages and you want to like exactly use that landing page as it is with all of its images with everything as it is so there is this option for remix as well but as soon as you click on remix it will ask you to like pay for it and i don't recommend you paying for it so that's why i think uh, you can just use that prompt builder use your creativity and build something cool something amazing something that you can be proud of so similarly you can just like create your mobile ui as well so there are different like components different elements for mobile ui so just go ahead create something and this way what you can do you won't have to kind of like 
uh, worry about if you create a new landing page inside let's post lovable or bold dot new and now you have to integrate that landing page inside your existing project that can be a headache literally a headache because both lovable and bold will create a separate project and you already have a separate project now merging both of those projects will cause a lot of conflicts and you end up like losing your project so that's why i think this is a good approach that you just like go by component by component small components you can just like keep building for wherever whatever is required you don't need to add like so much extra components that you don't need you can just like keep everything under control and build only the components that we need so i think this tool is super helpful what i am actually really working on right now i'm actually really inspired by this tool i think i'll just create an open source a free version of this tool kind of a prompt builder where you can just like choose all of these in real time and then i'll try to add more design elements more options and more of most of the features which are actually behind that paywall i'll try to like create a new tool and then try to like follow the guideline from this tool and publish it for you for free to use that that tool absolutely for free so i hope you like this video this was just like a random idea that i just got and especially this tool was really important again this video is not sponsored so I, I do not recommend you go ahead and buy that pay that pay for this tool but yeah if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section and i'll see you next video Bye bye